Hey guys, this is Bijan from Ori Dog Training here with my girl Athena. We are going to show you guys today how to set up a halty on a dog and afterwards how to introduce it. Is your dog chewing up your house, dragging you down the street and jumping on you and all of your guests? Or do you just want your dog to come when called and listen to basic commands? I've put together a comprehensive online dog training program to help dog owners just like you. Gain control and transform your dog from rowdy to obedient without confusion while being coached by a professional through the process. To learn more, visit oradogtraining.com slash learn. The reason why we would use a halty is because it gives us head control over the dog. Where the head goes, the body goes. So with the halty, we set it up over the dog's nose and attaches to a regular flat collar and then in between we attach it to the leash. Okay, so what we need is a leash, a regular flat collar, Athena, our halty, this one is a size three for a German Shepherd. So now this part right here goes over the nose so when you see, we have a clip for the back right here. And then we have the part that goes over the nose. This piece goes to the collar. And then this is where we attach the leash right here. So we open the clip, slide it over Athena's nose right here. Good girl. Very nice. Make sure it sits nicely on her nose. Now, as you can see, there's the logo of Halty says right here. So we make sure that we can read it. So now we attach it behind her ears. Good job, very good girl. Now this piece of the collar attaches to the regular flat collar. We can take our leash off from that. So when we rotate this around, we attach it to the D-ring of the flat collar underneath the chin. And now right here on this ring is where we're attaching the regular leash. So this way we have control over the dog's head. We can move the dog now most dogs will get a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning and they'll try to paw it off. Okay, so in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to introduce it to the dog and also how to use it when you need to use it to correct the dog for the wrong behavior. Now that we set up the collar properly on Athena, what I recommend is using a four foot or a three foot leash so you don't have too much leash to work with. What we want to do is we want to move with the dog Every time the dog starts either scratching or leaning down or trying to get the halty off their face, we just pull straight up. We don't pull to the side, we don't correct. We just pull it straight up and then we just keep moving and releasing the pressure once she settles down. Are you ready, Athena? Let's do it. Come on, go. Here. So if we're moving around, you see she's a little hesitant here because she doesn't know really what's going on. Come on, girl. Very good. Come on. Let's go, girl. Good job. If the dog reacts, you pull it straight up. Good job. This way it also shuts them out. So if your dog has some aggression issues or is uh, pushy or is like trying to lunge at things, it helps you to get some control over your dog by just pulling straight up. If your dog is very prey driven, tries to attack everything, just pull it straight up, hold the dog until the dog goes in a sit, and we can help them here. Good, good job. And then release the pressure. So the moment that you release the pressure here, it releases the pressure around the nose. You see there is room here, but if we're pulling up, it tightens the position. So again, we start walking, come on. Yes, good girl. Move with the dog. Good job, this is her first time. So she's not super happy about this but she's gonna learn. You see how she's like, kind of like, when I'm pulling on it, she's trying to fight it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on. There you go. Good girl. Come on, come on. Yes. Very nice. Again, straight up, pull it up right here, closes the dog's mouth. We can give a little bit of pressure on the back, release the pressure, 
and sit the dog down. Good girl. So now, as you can tell, it's very important that we release the pressure immediately. And as you see, with the shorter leash, it makes it much easier for me to pull on the leash. What I usually do, my right hand goes to my left hand and I pull straight up if I need the help or I pull straight up with my left hand. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Leave them in the comment section or just reach out to me directly. If you haven't yet, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.